going on, everybody? Bowman's back in the Shock Surplus Shop to talk about more shocks. And in this case, we're still on the OME train. There have been so many big shakeups in how they do things and in shocks in their catalogs. We thought it was a perfect time to better break down how to really set these shocks up. And today, the two we're specifically talking about are the OME MT64, which is that new new, and their Nitro Trizer Plus, which technically is a long and storied name, but finally got some updates. Now, OMI has always been a bunch of spring guys, uh, particularly on their Nitro Charger kits. Your lift came from the springs and that is it. And that is still mostly the case, but whether your weight load was different or you wanted a different lift height, they did offer a ton of different spring options so you could dial things in for your needs. And if you had lean or weren't exactly where you wanted it to sit, you would get a couple trim packer spacers, what they called them, but were basically top hat shims to take your strut and get a little bit more lift out of one side or both sides to get to sit where you want it to sit. Now the spring guys will still be spring guys, so they do have different spring options, but to further dial in your ride height and particularly set them up for the constant load you might have, they have moved to allowing for preload adjustment on the struts themselves on both the MT64 and on the new Nitro Charger Plus so that effectively you can buy one spring when you're stock and then as you add a bumper, winch, skid plates, whatever, you can just go up and preload in five millimeter increments to offset that load, which means there's a good chance you can keep the same spring through the life of your build. Now, why might preload be the better solution than using a top hat spacer or a variety of different springs? Well, obviously on the spring front, you don't wanna have to keep spending 200 bucks every time you add a couple pounds to your rig, not ideal. And if you needed some lean correction like most Toyotas do, uh, there is a good chance that when you're just adding that spacer on top, although yes, you're making it sit more level side to side, the strut on the side, particularly the driver's side that was sitting lower, is more compressed than the other side, so your travel range isn't the same, and adding preload offset weight offsets load more evenly across the vehicle, basically jacks the load where you need it. Now, in this case, we aren't going to try to use this preload to gain more lift, more so maintain the lift that the spring was designed for, but if you're low on one side, particularly like that driver's side like most Toyotas, having that preload adjustment really helps correct the issue, mostly at the root, because let's be honest, the frame's not crooked, it's just not even on weight on both sides. Now, although both the MT64 and the new Nitro Charger Plus use preload to give you five millimeter increments of adjustment to offset weight, they do go about things differently. The effect is the same, but they do it in two different ways. We'll start with the Nitro Charger Plus because that's the more complicated of the two. Uh, as you'll see, they have a little lip on here. Uh, this is where the spring would sit in the standard position. They give you two spacers that sit on that lip, as you can see here, and that adds your preload adjustment. Now I did say they were five millimeter increments, right? And there's only two of these. It's a little hard to see, but if you look back into this, on, and this is on both of these, onto these spacers, they did a five millimeter back cup to create a lip so that this can sit five millimeters down from the overall thickness. So this spacer is 20 millimeters in total thickness, but when you flip it, so the inner lip rides on the uh, spring seat ring down here, it gives you 15, and in the case of this smaller spacer, it's 10 millimeters thick, but when flipped so it rides on that inner lip, is a five millimeter preload adjustment. So essentially you have standard five millimeters of additional preload, which is like a alloy bumper, like an aluminum bumper, bumper or a, just an insert, like a, a half bumper in the front um, to flip like this is a full, you know, a complete steel bumper and then maybe a light bumper and winch and then Bumper, winch, skid plates, the whole nine is your 20 millimeter preload adjustment. So they give you two spacers, but 
By flipping them, you have four total settings going from zero preload, five millimeters, 10, 15, 20. Now, in the case of lean, let's say you have your Tacoma, you get some two inch springs for it, which I believe are 4,004, um, and you install it, your driver's side is at one and a half inches of lift, your passenger side is at two. You throw this five millimeter preload spacer on there, or this 10 flip to the five position, and that should be enough preload to effectively mostly offset any of that lean. And as we said, if you use it as intended, you can just add preload as you add weight. Now the MT64s, same concept, but they have circlet grooves machined into the body, uh, similar to like what you would find on a Bilstein product. Uh, but the main difference is they have a setting that is five millimeters below normal height. So they have six total settings and the bottom two are for standard weight, no additional constant load. And then it's the same four as you go up as the nitro charger. And that is set by moving this circlet position, which the spring seat rides on through one of these positions. So these could actually be a little better for lean in some situations, because let's say you have that same Tacoma and you're at two on the driver's side, two and a half on the passenger side. Uh, that would mean you could go down, come down to that low bottom clip setting, so five millimeters preload reduced, and stay in that two inch lift spring these struts and the springs were designed for. So it's important to note, and I'm gonna keep reiterating this, you are not using these adjustments to gain more lift than the system was designed for. If it is a two to three inch kit, therefore two to three inches of lift. But this adjustment can be used to offset lean so both sides are at that two to three inch mark or can be used to offset weight as you add it. So it's important to note that let's say where a Bilstein 6112 might have a 14 inch 600 pound spring. These are closer to 15, 15 and a half inches long. So all of your lift is coming from the spring at that low spring seat position. And then any preload you're making is to offset weight. And since you're keeping spring rate the same, there's a good chance it might help ride as well. We are offering to assemble these MT64s for free, so you don't even have to worry about knowing all this stuff anyway if you order these from us through the end of June. So if you are looking at these, it's the perfect time to do it. ARB is running a rebate as well. So you end up saving money on assembly, you end up saving your life because spring compressors are dangerous, and you end up saving some money from ARB, so it's a no-brainer. Obviously, there's a lot of parts and pieces to these kits. They could be a little confusing, so if you guys have questions about these, feel free to leave a comment below. Give us a shout directly on our website, and we'd love to help you out. In the meantime, make sure you're subscribed so you catch the next episode of Shock Talk, and we'll see you out along the trails.